Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to edit your vehicle's flash patterns by the carcoals.meta file. First things first, you're going to need a few things to get started. Number one is going to be the vehicle you want to change. A binary to decimal converter. The link to the one I use will be in the description below. And your carcoals.meta file. With that being said, we're going to hop right into it. I'm using the 2016 Ford Explorer from the 2021 Wheelin Pack Remastered. By redneck modifications if you have not seen it i highly recommend you do that link will be posted in the description as well so today we're going to be editing the visor bars and the rear light bar so to find out which sirens are which we're going to need to deselect the visor bar we're going to do that by going over here to the menu on the left and deselecting and if you see if you look really closely you can see that there is a red light and then there is a blue light. So siren eight is going to be the siren on the left side of the car. That's going to control the right flasher. And siren seven is going to control the right side of the car or the blue flasher. So now that you've identified which siren is which, we're going to open up a spreadsheet. I highly recommend you do use a spreadsheet. It helps you group your, your lights a little better. So with this flash pattern I'm going to be using here, it's going to be a non-synced flash pattern. So the groups of four will flash really fast, and the groups of two will flash slow. So to convert this into a flash pattern you're going to need a binary to decimal converter again a link to this will be in my description below so what we're going to do here is we're going to follow siren 7 by typing a 1 for every check mark and a 0 for every blank box and I'm going to go ahead and type in the binary for siren 7 and then we'll move on to siren eight. Okay, so now that we have our binary inserted here, we're going to convert this to a decimal. Now here is the decimal that will best represent our flash pattern here. So now you're gonna open up your server. You're gonna find the carcoals file for the specific vehicle that you want to modify. In this case, it's my 2016 Ford Explorer. And then you're going to go down to the corresponding siren. Now, depending on which siren you edit, it will be either on top or on the bottom. You just It goes down in numerical value. So under flashiness here, we're going to go and copy this. And under sequencer value, we're going to replace with the number that we got from the converter. So because I want to unsync these two sirens, we're going to go down to this sync to BPM value line here, and we're going to take out this true and put in false. And the speed value will define how fast or how slow the lights will flash. I typically do a speed value of around 325 and so now this is a modified flash pattern so we're gonna close out this for now we'll come back to that and we're gonna do siren 8 okay so now that we have our binary for siren 8 we're gonna convert it back to a decimal and then we are going to highlight this copy it we're going to go back into our carcoals file and we're going to scroll down until you see the next siren that you want. In this case, it's siren eight and we're going to go into sequencer here and we're going to do 325 and turn the BPM sync to false. So now that you have successfully modified your visor light, we're going to do the rear light. So I'm going to go ahead and knock that out really quick and then I'm going to restart my server 
and then I'll show you what this looks like in game. So I've got my server restarted. The carcoals is in. This is the flash pattern that you have seen in the spreadsheet and that I converted over to the decimal. So I'll get a little closer here so you can see a little bit better. And then we'll move out to the back. I did modify the back. And take a look at that. I didn't want to go anything crazy. I wanted to keep it a little more relaxed on the intensity on the flash. So that's pretty much it. It is not that difficult if you have all the right tools to get yourself set up. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave me a like. Go ahead and comment. Let me know what you thought of this video. This was a long time in the running. I've been wanting to make a video on how to edit your flash patterns, and I just now got around to doing it. And go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. There's going to be more content to come. I plan on posting a video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. This one will be going up tomorrow. Today is Monday. So this will be going up on July 20th. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.